guys hi guys hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is okachi if you are new to my channel please ensure hit the subscribe button that is below and the notification bell beside it and if you are not new welcome back home so this video is going to be a very quick one a very brief one we're we'll talking about our edges our front hair our hairline our everything so without further ado you know what we do boo let us get right into the video i go further the first thing let's say is your edges are not going or are cutting or are breaking up because of either you apply too much gel you do tight hairstyles you do this 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 this and this so i am here as queen of edges dr edges to give you guys a solution to that problem a quick backstory of mine my edges broke off a lot during the hamatan season because i went from ife to lagos to ebony back to lagos in like a snap so my regimen changed i started using things i'm not meant to use I started doing things i'm not meant to do and it's steady but after like a month or two my edges are relatively back like they are relatively back. This is nothing. This is gel down. Please, let me just break that information. So, let me share a little or a few of my secrets on how I keep my edges cute. <laughs> keep my edges looking cute. So, the first tip I would say is stop applying so much gel to your hair. Like, when you apply gel to your edges or you constantly slay your edges or you lay your edges, when you are shampoo, you are going to put so much pressure on the front of the way i'm going to go like this so let's say you shampoo you lay your edges like once or twice every week so you shampoo like once or twice every week and you're constantly jamming your edges to get that that will cause friction and your edges won't really like that so avoid that avoid putting so much gel or avoid shampooing your edges with so much force another thing you should do is please please before you sleep and once you apply a certain scarf or certain bonnet tie your scarf first before you apply your bonnet this is a life-saving tip, but nobody will tell you this. I've not heard any YouTuber say this before on social media, but tie your scarf first, like this. Just slightly off my edges. And over, not, this, my edges are here, over my edges like this. Tie your scarf first. Tie your scarf first, then you get your bonnet and put your bonnet just either over your edges or just be, behind like this. If it's going to be your edges, the pressure is going to apply to your edges. It's not going to be a friendly one. So ensure you put a scarf over your edges before you put your bonnet. Of course, this elastic thing here that they put here, it applies pressure. That's just the truth. It applies pressure. So avoid, ensure you tie your scarf over your edges. Another tip I would say is, keep, if you're going to use a bonnet directly, keep your bonnet off your edges. Don't put your bonnet off your, on your edges. Please keep it off your edges. Bonnets are protecting your edges. Not necessarily protecting your edges. Like to cause pressure to your edges, meant to get to protect them. It's meant to go over your edges, like up in front of your hairline. And you can, if you want to put it away from your hairline, like around this region, ensure it's a certain pillow, pillowcase, so that if your edges don't rub against your pillow, nothing too much, not, nothing too hard will happen to them. And now it says doing hot oil treatment. I, did, I started doing hot oil treatment like last year, but it was like once in like three months because I was trying out a lot of things last year, but. I've done a hot oil treatment twice this year already and I've had like 10 wash days which is quite a lot, more than what I did last year so um, do hot oil treatment, it just help oils to infuse into your scalp but when you do hot oil treatment, ensure you apply the oils to your edges I have an, a DIY hot oil treatment video below so ensure you check that out and that's about I would say is oil your edges oil your edges, oil your edges apply oil, uh, the oil I'm using is the beautiful another super edges and hair growth serum you can use my code nk500 to a check out so that you can get some coins off you know so i use this oil you can see how far gone i am already half the bottle and this is what i use on my edges like recently i used to use i've used the um african pride five in one essential oil mix i've used the lucy hair products oil i was like well, that's what i used to do my hot oil I use palm kernel oil. I've mixed my vinegar oil for later on in the year. It's already infusing. I moved it like three or four months to infuse. Then I use avocado oil from Hair Essentials by AX. So you try to apply oil to your edges on a steady. So I just always like food. If you don't feed your edges, your edges are like your baby. If you don't feed your baby, your baby grow no. If you don't feed your edges, your edges grow no. 
and my final tip is already like you guys know i've this is like, this is like two in one avoid laying front out on a steady and putting this and putting got to be on your edges on a steady that thing got to be is not gonna be it's not gonna be on your edges all the time it's not meant to be on your edges all the time please ditch the got to be like please for some time you lay frontal today like do it like once or twice in a month you must not lay frontal every day baby girl you must not lay that lace wig every day you might have the money you know you can afford the wig if you move that wig and there's no hair on your head will you be happy if you move that wig and there are no edges but we can see fake baby hair with your edges with your frontal will you be happy so please ditch the got to be for some time let the edges come out first let the babies grow i believe the edges are the future front and my dear ghana weavers my dear togo weavers my dear nigerian weavers please stop that thing people are doing all those tight tight hair stuff if you're any tension on your hair please i know it might cost you a lot of money to do the hair yeah losing it please i'm, I'm begging you it's talking from experience i'm begging you the pain i feel when i make my hair i made crochet like a while back and did they crush crush my head? Do you want to see my hair? Excuse me, this is a guy. I just woke up for a while. I say, someone that is alive that can have hair on their head. I just took my hands. I, I losing the hair in like a snap. Hair took me about four hours to make. I losing this in like one hour. I've been thirty minutes. I was just going. I'm like, this hair you will not kill me. You will not kill me today. <laughs> like the pain was crazy. So if you have any intention on your hair, losing that thing, get 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 losing it. So have you guys learned a thing or two? I also want to add an extra tip. Avoid using pillow face masks around your edges. Use all the normal white paper washable ones. Ditch the pillow off ones. When you want to do it on your edges, if you know, especially you're going to, if you're struggling with your edges or struggling to grow them out, leave the pillow off masks away from your edges. Those things that we are ladies are putting your hair like they are transplanting, they are removing the hair from where it's growing from. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Ensure you are subscribed to my channel. Follow me across all social media platforms and natural kakachi. Natural kakachi, not kakachi. Um, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page, Natural Kachin. Subscribe, comment below what tip you can give any other person to grow their own edges. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babies. Bye, babies. <laughs>